Welcome back to the other metrology and measurement session ME3592. Today we are going to continue the third unit tolerance analysis. My name is Mr. Pipa Navin Jaws, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Boney College of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to see some of the problems on limit gauges. So the first problem is design and sketch a snap gauge to check the shaft diameter of 250 power minus 0 0.05 design and sketch a snap gauge to the shaft diameter of 250 power minus 0 0.05 is the question here so, first we need to get the given data from the question. So, what are the things uh, given here means they given, they said to find out, to find design and sketch a snap gauge. We need to design and sketch a snap gauge to check the shaft diameter for, to, for checking the shaft diameter we need to design a sketch design and sketch a snap gauge here the upper limit is 250 plus the lower limit is also 250 so upper limit which is in positive value so g is equal to 250 plus 0 0.0 0, 0. For lower limit 250 minus 0 0.05 which is equal to 249.95 and the work tolerance T is equal to G minus K. Therefore the 250 minus 249.95 therefore 0 0.05 mm is the work tolerance. So here, these are the three limits, uh, two limits and the work tolerance we found out. The upper limit, upper limit of uh, the process is G is equal to 250 plus 0 0.00. And lower limit k is equal to 250 minus 0 0.05 which is the power of 250 is equal to 249.95 and the one more value work tolerance we need to get the work tolerance is k is equal to 250 minus 0 0.05 250 minus 0 0.05 which is equal to 249.95 249.95 so from the table 3.7 we should move to the table 3.7 which is given in the book or the tables we should find out the values to solve the problem so this is the so gauge tolerance for checking shafts is here so here h divided by 2 capital H divided by 2 which is the 5.308 microns so here 5.308 microns the power is 250 or the higher limit is sorry I think the lower limit is 250 and uh, the we need to find out the values of the procedure so here First, we need to find out the interpolation value. 
so hp h divided by 2 which is equal to 5.308 microns which is equal to 0 0.0051 mm 0.0051 mm is the work tolerance so after the find out of this value y1 is equal to 6.154 microns 0 0.0062 mm from the table and uh, the next value is the one 7.769 7 microns which is equal to 0 0.0078 mm which is equal to 0 0.0078 mm and alpha 1 and alpha 1 which is equal to 3.144154 microns which is equal to 0 0.032 therefore 250 minus is it on plus or minus 0 0.0051 therefore 249.992 plus or minus 0 0.0051 is the value so here for go gauge new size d1 is equal to g minus is it on plus h divided by 2 so therefore go gauge one outside d1 is equal to g plus y1 minus alpha 1 so 250 plus 0 0.062 minus 0 0.0032 so 250.003 mm is the value for go gauge one outside so no go gauge size is equal to d2 is equal to k plus alpha 1 plus or minus h divided by 2 therefore 249.953 plus 0 0.0051 mm is the value and now we are going for the next problem in this also they uh, they ask the question as design a workshop type progressive type go not go plug gauge suitable for 25 h7 with the following information for 25 mm lies in the diameter step of 18 to 30 mm i is equal to 0.45 root of root cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d and the third one it 7 is equal to 6i so the given data are uh, the nominal diameter nominal diameter is 25 mm whole designation is h7 lower division of the whole is 0 range of diameter is 18 mm to 30 mm d1 is equal to 80 18 mm and uh, in d2 equal 30 mm standard tolerance for it7 is equal to 16 i mm and if mu m is equal to 0.45 cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d so that there is a geometric mean diameter capital d is equal to uh, d capital d1 d2 which is equal to root of 18 to 30 is equal to 23.24 mm and i is equal to 0.45 cube d plus 0 0.001 d so 0 0.45 cube root of 23.24 and 1.31 micron or 1.36 into 10 power 3 10 power minus 3 mm So next one is standard interference ho for hole. ST hole is equal to 16I, which is equal to 16 into 1.31 into 10 power minus 3 is equal to 0 0.0021. So the lower limit is 25 mm and the upper limit is 25.02 mm. So in the inside gap, there is a formula is there for, uh, for lower limit hole 25 plus 0 0.00. That's the value and for upper limit hole ll hole plus st hole is the upper limit value and uh, for designing the plug gauge for this checking the hole basic size limit size upper deviation work tolerance in and uh, the for this four values 
for basic size 25 mm is the value and lower limit of hole kh is equal to 25 mm and upper limit of hole gh is equal to 25.021 mm and th upper limit minus lower limit is equal to gh minus kh 25.021 minus 25 is equal to 7021 so therefore from this table h divided by 2 manufacturing cost tolerance is equal to 2 microns and diameter of PO gauge pi diap and uh, th is equal to upper limit minus lower limit so therefore gh minus kh is equal to 25.021 minus 25 is equal to 0 0.021 mo so therefore we are going to refer the table of gauge tolerance for ISO grade 10 and basic size of 50 mm from this h by 2 is equal to manufacturer tolerance is equal to 2 microns per 0 0.02 mm so therefore y is equal to 0 and z equal, equal to VR allowance 11 microns is equal to 0 0.011 so diameter of go gauge d is equal to kh plus z plus or minus h divided by 2 therefore 25 plus 0 0.01 plus or minus 0 0.002 25 point 0 0.02 1 plus or minus 0 0.002 mm is the answer for no gauge diameter and go gauge 25 mm and diameter of go gauge is equal to 25 plus 0 0.01 plus or minus 0 0.002 so this is the value for diameter of go gauge and go gauge value 25 mm and no go gauge 23 mm so by this problem i am going to end this session for further problems join us on the next video thank you